Welcome to 2016, the year of microtransactions. We have microtransactions in Call of Duty. We have them in Destiny now. We've got them in a varying degree in Halo 5. They are coming to a game near you, so please be excited. Now let's first talk about what's happening in COD with COD points. COD points, you buy them for money. You buy, say you get 200 for $2, you buy 1,000 for $10, you get a bonus, 100, whatever, it's fluff, just like they did in Destiny. Destiny introduced the leveling up, pay money. And in this, you pay $30 to get your hunter to level 25, and I assume unlock all the subclasses. Now, I said from the start, that I was, I liked it when, I didn't care that Battlefield 3 did it, where you would rank up an entire character. That was well into the lifespan of the game, though. That was towards the back end, if I remember correctly. And Destiny's doing something similar towards the back end. So, I mean, I'm not really, it's just a super price couch. $30 to rank up your character, it doesn't even take that long to rank up your character. So, that's just a super price couch. So, but the Destiny community will defend it, and I could care less. You know what, I'm done with that game. Like, I really have no interest or care. I'm only doing this video because it actually affects me in a in COD, and, and that's weird for once. But I don't play COD multiplayer either, so that doesn't even affect me. So I really don't even care. Like, if you play these games and this affects you, please, please say something. Like, that's, you need to. So that's all I'm doing here is saying something because it affects me. And I'm, I, we'll have our bigger YouTubers come out and, and, and get upset about this. And, and I think everybody should do it. But, you know, the key to YouTubing is is do something you're passionate about. And I'm passionate about COD Zombies. So I'm only going to address that really for me because I'll be the most passionate in this scenario. So COD Zombies, what they did is they, 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 they lowered the amount of liquid divinium you can get per game. But now they made it so that you can use COD points to buy more liquid divinium in order to get more gobble gum. And I, and I did a video yesterday on it. But I'm just doing another one because of more information has came out and it's been fully fledged and I had a night to sleep on it. <laughs> like, this is this is crazy. And, and also, I want to do a brief statement though real quick. Just remember guys, Activision's price gouging the fuck out of you in, in Destiny and in COD. But guess what game, and guess what de developer isn't? Battlefield and Star Wars. Guess who makes those games or publishes them? EA. <laughs> How about that, Activision? Yeah, Activision's losing to EA for once. Oh wait, no, that's not true because Battlefield and fucking the Star Wars are less played games than those two games. So, just remember that, people. I mean, just remember who cares more about your money and who cares more about putting out a quality product. Nah, I know that's a little biased, but well, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I'm just, 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 it's just shell shocked, and, and I had to put up a video on it because I'm a little, I'm just upset about it, and I don't really know what to do yet. So, yeah, this COD thing is crazy, though absolutely fucking crazy i don't know the exact numbers i haven't played a fucking game literally i'm not lying i haven't played a game in like four days guys i haven't played a game since friday uh, i've just been watching this show called a uh, shameless but that's off topic no but anyways no, I've been, but i just been just this is insane I, i'm about to play some games tonight but but i i want to know your guys' thoughts of uh, anybody watching this shout out to people that watch this and let me know your thoughts and maybe i'll do a follow-up video if you guys didn't say some interesting points or whatever yeah but the Destiny has been slowly devolving into this, and it's really fucking funny that the people that are like, I, we ran into them, people are like, oh, my silver it goes into making DLC. Literally, they are just super milking you now. This is the Omega milk right here, is milking the guys that don't even play this game, and then like, oh, pay $30. I also, I would love to be interested to see who actually buys these so we can make fun of them, but I don't think we'll ever know, but that shit would be absolutely hilarious. It just seems like a April Fool's joke. Thirty dollars to rank up your character, because if I remember, Battlefield Three was only like ten dollars to rank up the specialization, and that was a waste of money. And this is a mega waste of money. And these COD points, they literally built the game without the COD points in mind, and now they're forcing them in. This is so funny, because at least from the zombie perspective, is because the Liquid Divinium went from getting as many as you could per game to getting only two per game. Then they introduced this as the only way now to get it. This is just literally, like I said, it's literally taking half of that, that thing, that gumball thing, and just chopping it off. Done. You get one every month, one per a month, that's it. Boom. Move on. It's just, it's it's mind-blowing that, that developers or human beings are capable of something this fucking disgusting. And this is only in the gaming industry. Because as I know I know a lot of these assholes will be like, eh, it's just gaming, why do you take it so serious? Well, well, because it tells you a lot about everything else. Like, it's philosophy and shit. If they're willing to price gouge you on something as meaningless as, as a fucking crypto key, or as meaningless as a fucking, as a gobble gum, what the fuck do you tell you, does it tell you about what corporations are willing to do for your profits? But that's something else. But fuck it, yo, but seriously though, this has been Game 7, let me know your thoughts, and welcome to the year of the microtransaction coming up, next year's gonna be interesting guys, let's see what Ubisoft does. <laughs>